Okay. A weird night for some really odd plays in the playoffs for, for some reason. Uh, it must be a full moon or something. Uh, either that or the baseball gods or the baseball ghosts are a, a little cocked off their asses tonight for letting all this crap happen. Okay, right, let's start with what just happened in the White Sox game. So Yasmani Grandel, he has a run around third. He's running towards first. And um, did I even say his name right? I don't even know. Um, so anyway, he, he's running towards first, and he is clearly on the grass. The throw comes, hits him right in the shoulder, deflects, no play at the plate, run scores. So that sparks a giant question. Is he out of the base path, and is that interference? By the rule, no, he's not out of the base path, and no, it's not interference because the runner establishes his base path, his own base path. Um, so if he establishes that from the plate to first base, as long as it's a straight line, if it crosses into the grass, then that's a part of the baseline. So by that rule, no. Question is, is that a stupid rule? I would say yes, because you can't tell me being on the infield grass is in the baseline. <laughs> now, I want you to remember this. So when when something, when there's a goofy play with Trey Turner in the 2019 World Series, Trey was on the grass for like a half a second. <laughs> the throw comes from behind him. He's on the grass for half a second, comes back in where he's supposed to be, hits him on like the shoulder or the butt or something else, something else and it deflects away. And they're saying he's out because he's interference that's out of the baseline. He has to be in the lane that's painted. Grandel wasn't in that lane? <laughs> every once in a while, it almost seems like also every postseason, we have an issue with the base path going to first base. Almost every time. So you're telling me, yes, Monty Grandel is in the baseline, three feet into the grass, <laughs> but Trey Turner in the World Series, who clips on the grass for half a second and is still on the dirt, when the throw comes behind him, he's out of the baseline, but Grandel is not? <laughs> I think this is a sign we need to reevaluate whatever the hell this rule is. What is that lane for? I don't know anymore. No one seems to enforce that. They didn't even enforce it a few months ago when the Brewers had that weird, bizarre play where the, the play was over and the inning was over and then he made contact with the runner in the grass and they're saying, no, your pitcher is interfering with the base path in the grass after the play is over. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, I don't understand how MLB chooses to apply this rule. By the rule, that is technically right, but I do not think they're very consistent in enforcing that rule. So, let's stay with another um, base path rule. This one, not enough people are talking about it, towards the beginning-ish of the Rays and Red Sox game, where Rosarena hits... Um, uh, what assumingly would be a triple for someone his speed into like that dead center, whatever that's called over in Fenway. I know it has a name. Um, comes around, he takes his banana, he, he comes across, and Schwarber does not trip him on purpose. Schwarber is clearly looking at the play because he's not a first baseman. He doesn't know where to stand. I always made an effort when I played first base, get out of the base path to avoid this very thing. Doesn't see, and, and they're both kind of looking at the ball, and he trips over him. Now, you you got to give the runner the next bag. You can't give him the assumed bag. You can't assume he would have made it to third, even though he was going to make it to third. So the Red Sox get rewarded for Kyle Schwarber not knowing where to stand. And this is a problem <laughs> Be because the guy was going to get the third. So now what's going to stop every first baseman from now on from standing in the base path looking back, looking the opposite way from now on? Now, I read plenty of people on Twitter saying, oh, well, Orozarecia ran straighter, more, more straight to second base. Yeah, okay, cool, sure. Because that, your, your son's Little League game makes a straighter line. Okay, sure. So that's clearly someone who has not played a very <laughs> decent level of baseball. Uh, 
either that or you've never seen someone take a round out off a of first base before. Uh, because by the rule, a Rosarena establishes his own base path. So even if you think he is wide, which I don't think he is too wide, even if you do think he's wide, he establishes his own base path. Schwart, no matter which way you cut it, this is Kyle Schwarber's responsibility to know where the base path is, whatever the base path chooses to be. If I'm Kyle Schwarber and I see that play is clearly not going to be to me, I'm getting behind second on the other side, like towards the pitcher's mound in case there's some weird overthrow. So Kyle Schwarber and the Red Sox are rewarded for not knowing where to stand. And if that can't get, if that's not weird enough, <laughs> this game is a disaster. <laughs> if that's not weird enough, Kiermaier spanks one to right field. And I think is it Mar is 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 it Margo who's on first? I can't remember who's on first. Kiermaier spanks one off the wall. It's the bat. It's the fielder, and then goes over the wall. And they're calling this the ground rule double. Now, here's the thing. The guy on third is only a couple steps away from third base. By time, the fielder makes contact with the ball, three feet from the wall, back facing the plate. <laughs> and, they, and, and they got the balls to say that run can't score <laughs> because the dude deflected over him. <laughs> This is against all logic of baseball to say that guy can't score. I I get keeping Kiermaier at second. I actually get that part. But now, under this logic, what is to stop every outfielder from now on when seeing that a run is going to score from first, just swatting it off their glove into the stands and just cutting him off and making him stop at third? What's to stop them from now on? This is a, this is an absolute disaster. I get I get keeping care about a second. I I don't know how you justify that run not scoring. This is twice in one night. The Red Sox benefited from dumb shit happening to them. To them. I can't believe this. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is funny. Keep in mind this White Sox and Astros game. Did it start at 8 o'clock? It's like 11.30. It's like just coming into like the seventh inning, I, I think. This game is taking forever. Oh, I love baseball, don't you? I really do.